Hey guys and a warm welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a styling video. So this is going to probably be a new series over on my channel because my mission at the moment is to really try and help advise and help give just kind of advice I guess to other mums and people that aren't mums but especially those that just kind of maybe lost their way with what they can wear and what they look good in and how to wear things because I feel like when you have a baby you just really like suddenly you you can't remember how you dressed before you had a baby or you've had children you've been living in like if you breastfed like breastfeeding clothes or the seasons change and you have no idea what to wear now and I just feel like I'm not particularly I'm certainly not an expert I'm not a particularly stylish person but whenever I've done a video on fashion, people have always commented really, really nice things about how they do love my fashion videos and that they'd like advice on this or if I mention in a video I might do a styling white jeans, people seem to really like jump on that and want me to do it. So I thought I would do it and I just want a disclaimer now, I'm not an expert, I just really like wearing clothes that make me feel good because I just feel like that is a difference. If you feel good in something, then you're going to be more conf confident to wear it. So if you do like that kind of thing and you want to come along and watch this series, I'd love it if you wanted to subscribe. I do everything from fashion hauls to come shopping with me videos, I'm sure lots of you are new from those videos that I've done. But I also do a lot of travel and parenting as well. So. There's a mixed bag over here, but hopefully something for everybody. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that kind of thing. But for now, this video is in fact going to be a styling white jeans and how to style them for different occasions, for the winter, for the summer, and just how to look good in white jeans. So I hope you like this video, guys. Subscribe if you're new and let's get on with it. Okay, so I thought I would just start by talking through the jeans that I've chosen to wear throughout this video. These are the Topshop Jamie jeans, and as you can see, they're quite high-waisted, and they just feel like, for me, they hide a whole manner of sins around this area. So if you're unconfident around this area, then this is the kind of jean that you're looking for. It's going to be high-waisted, it's a slim leg, and it's cropped at the ankle. So I'll show you a little cutaway further down, but as you can see, they're just really, really easy to wear. These are an investment piece, so these are going to cost you £42. They're the Jamie jeans. I'll link them down below in the description bar. But I feel like with a jean, you can really invest in a good pair of denim jeans and then use your other items in your wardrobe to bring the price down of the overall outfit. I just think it's really important to get a good fitting pair of jeans. When you become a mum especially, jeans are really, really hard to buy. So definitely go out there, Topshop do some great jeans and obviously places like Lee and um, Levi's also do some really good jeans. But I just think play around with it, find out what your shape style is and what you feel confident in. For me, this is the area that I like to hide, so these do suck me in. They're high-waisted, so if I wanted to wear a crop top with them, I'm like covered here, I don't feel like I'm showing anything. Even just a simple t-shirt tucked in, a front tuck is a great way of styling a t-shirt. It means that you're not kind of showing too much, but I do feel like it's a really nice casual look. So these are the jeans I'm going to be wearing throughout the video and I'm going to be showing you how I style them in different ways for different occasions. Right, so a little bit of a different look for me because I've got my hair back in this kind of sleek pony. And I've also got these golden tortoiseshell earrings, which are from Primark. They were £4. And I've got a kind of darker lip on, more of a orangey brown. And I've kept my makeup really basic, just because I feel like the earrings and the lip are a little bit bolder. So, excuse my nails, I'll just pick them off. This is from Primark, and it was probably, I want to say, like, four or five pounds. It's this ribbed uh, top, not quite a jumper. And I'm just wearing that with the Jamie jeans, so that you can see this is just more of a kind of dressy day look slash dinner, I would say. So you can wear these, as I said before, they're so high-waisted and flattering. I feel like this is my problem area and my hips, and for probably other mums that is probably the same case. So I just feel like I'm really like tucked in here, and I'm not feeling like I'm overspilling on my um, love handles, which is where I really struggle. So I've also teamed this with my Primark uh, pumps, a block heel, and they're just a really nice sandal, which feel like they dress up an outfit. And overall, I feel like this could be a really nice dinner outfit or a daytime outfit if you're going somewhere 
that you can wear heels and you're not going to be stuck in the mud somewhere. So yeah, I really like this outfit. I just feel like it just looks much more expensive than it is. I mean, the top, the earrings and the shoes, these shoes were £14. So really the whole outfit uh, is probably, well, the, the jeans are obviously the investment part of this. And that's what this video is all about. It's buying that investment pair of jeans and then being able to style it in so many ways and for a lot less so obviously the rest of the outfit costs less than the jeans put together so i absolutely had to add this look into this video this is a trench coat which i just feel like is a staple in your wardrobe it goes so nicely with a white jean you could get a trench coat in a blue or a pink or a green but i really love this kind of traditional beige colour, I think it really goes well with the white jeans, you can dress it with a dark top underneath, a lighter top, I feel like it's just such a good go to winter autumn look and it makes the white jean go through to a different season as well because obviously you can wear a, a trench coat in the winter and the autumn and still be quite warm, really easy to wear look and one that I will definitely be wearing over this next coming season. This I feel like is a really good day out with the girls outfit or a date night outfit or a going to lunch with your mum outfit. I feel like this is a great way of styling white jeans because it's quite grungy. You've got the jacket which you can take off and have without and it just become much more of a summery outfit so perfect for these summer evenings where the uh, daytime is quite hot but then the evenings could get quite cool. I've teamed it with this belt which is from Next and it was I think £12 but it is kind of like a like a textured uh, hide type belt. It's actually look it's way too big I need to put some extra holes in I need to get one of those machines where you can pump holes in but I just, I really like that. So I feel like the vest is so simple. It's from Primark, it was like two pounds. Uh, the jeans again, Jamie jeans, and then the metallic shoe, because I just feel like that makes the outfit quite uh, dressy on the bottom half if you do wear this and you go out in the daytime as well. And obviously, um, you know, these kind of jackets, they are just always around. I've got many different colors of them. This is just a traditional black bike. It's from H&M. And I just think wearing it on your shoulders as well just gives it quite a different level of uh, style than just wearing it normally. But obviously if you don't feel confident in that, wearing it just as a normal is fine. So yeah, I just feel like I really like this outfit. I wouldn't traditionally pair black with white. I think it's too contrasting. But I do feel like I feel really comfortable in this. And again, a high top knot just because I feel like that is quite good for when you have your hair up, when you've got your open exposed neck. So yeah, I think that if you wanted to make this a little bit less harsh with the black, you could definitely go with the mustard one or my pink suede one or a different colour and it would still look just as cool. So yeah, I hope you like that one as well. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to be wearing sunglasses inside, but I just wanted to show you how a pair of sunnies can really dress up an outfit because they just make you feel a little bit more glam and... I mean, they hide a multitude of sins. I haven't slept very well last night because my children don't sleep. So yeah, it's just a really nice way of kind of adding a bit of chic and glam when you don't feel it. <laughs> anyway, I also wanted to share that this top knot situation that everybody seems to rock, I just feel like I look a little bit like being dragged through a bush. <laughs> so I've chucked it out because I just feel like this outfit does work with a high top knot and just pulled out these little bits here just to give it a bit more of a kind of, oh, I just threw my hair up look, which yeah, I mean, it does actually look like that, I guess. But it does seem to look a lot better on other people. Uh, I've teamed the white jeans today with a faux suede mustard jacket, which is last year from Primark, but they're still in there now and this Topshop t-shirt. So I've gone kind of white on white. I've done a metallic shoe because I just feel like they go with white jeans so nicely and they do feel like they dress it up. And I just feel like the white on white trend is really cool. I do feel a bit like de double denim, but now that's like acceptable to wear. I feel like the same with this white on white combo and it just looks really clean and fresh. And the jacket just means that I can wear it throughout the year. Sorry if it's now loud coming through the window. It's so hot at the moment. Wearing a jacket is not what I want to be doing right now. But you know, it's for the cause, guys. So yeah, this is the outfit for just a very casual day out with mum friends um, or 
a day without the children because I feel like if you're gonna wear white, it's quite daring when you've got the children around you. So in the winter, don't forget to dig out that gilet. These are perfect for autumn and winter time. When it is colder outside, you can team it with a different colored jumper. You could put a roll neck with it. It's a great way of styling a white jean. I love this one. This is from New Look, it's super old, but they do them every autumn. Well, in fact, probably around now, they'll be in the shops. And I've just teamed it with a pe uh, pastel kind of peachy top. Uh, which obviously I would be cold in if I went out in this, but just to give you an idea of how they uh, look with a white jean. I always feel when you wear a fur gilet or a fur coat, you always look so put together, even if it's literally the last thing you throw on as you leave the house. There's just something about faux fur, it just makes you look really put together. So this I thought I would include. If you wanted to wear it with a thicker jumper, then definitely it would be a great idea to wear this in the winter and the autumn. And a light color also looks really great with the white jean. I'm just gonna finish up with a couple of outfits here with a voiceover just to show you other ways that I've been styling my white jeans. As I said, I've been in no means an expert, but I do really love experimenting with clothes and wearing things that make me feel good because I just feel like if you feel confident in what you're wearing, you would just feel so good about yourself. So I really hope this video has helped you. If you are a mum or a parent, I wanted to give a shout out to Channel Mum. They have just launched a Meet the Experts forum over on their website, channelmum.com. I will leave the link down below. They basically have all sorts of different experts over there. So if it's anything from trying to conceive to how to feed your baby to sleep regression, there's videos over there that can help you if you are a new parent and you want some advice. It's just a really empowering and supportive network and I just wanted to give them a shout out. So if you are looking for anything like that, then definitely go and check out the link below. So there we go guys. I really hope that that was informative and you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. I just really want this platform to become somewhere that people come back to get helpful, informative, advice almost. And it's not just gonna be fashion, it's gonna be parenting, stuff it's gonna be travel it's gonna be I'm going on holiday what do I need to pack for my children that kind of thing as well as lots of style and inspo and hair makeup as well I'm a huge skincare fan so I hope you want to subscribe and that you might like to stick around and leave me a comment down below if you like this video and if you want to see anything else from me in this kind of manner anything from styling midi skirts to how to wear like biker jackets or something like that. Just let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.